Hello Girl Scouts! Welcome to step 3 of the Junior Animal Habitat Badge. To see steps 1 and 2, check out my previous video in which we found out about wild animals and explored an animal habitat. Today we're going to work on step 3, creating an animal house. To do this, we're going to build a tunnel box depicting an animal's home. So first you'll need to choose your animal and find out where it lives. Do you want to show a bald eagle in its nest? Or maybe a clownfish swimming around a sea anemone? My friend and fellow Girl Scout Christine introduced me to this activity, and she made a tunnel box showing an orca whale leaping out of the ocean. I did a little research and chose the river otter. These animals were once nearly extinct in Colorado, but about 30 years ago, biologists reintroduced them into Colorado rivers. Thanks to conservation efforts, our rivers are healthier, and river otters are thriving in Colorado once again. Now, you can make a Colorado River Otter's Den along with me, or choose the animal that speaks to you, find out where it lives, and think about how you could create your own tunnel box showing its home. Then gather your supplies. You will need two pieces of plain paper, a pencil, scissors, something to color with, I use crayons, a black pen, something to attach paper together. I used tape, but you could use glue or even staples. Let's get started. Take one piece of paper and fold it in half twice so that it is divided into four sections. Leave it folded and using a pair of scissors, cut the middle out of the folded rectangle, leaving about a one inch frame. Unfold the paper and cut along the folds so that you have four frames. You'll only use three of these, but it's easier to cut all of them out at once. Set these aside. Now take your second piece of paper and just like with the first, Fold it in half twice so it's divided into four sections. Don't cut these into frames. Unfold and cut along the folds so that you have four rectangles. With two of the rectangles, you will make the sides of the tunnel box. To do this, accordion fold each of the two rectangles so that there are eight equal sections alternating back and forth. Make sure you do this so that the folds are parallel with the short side of the rectangle. Set these aside. Now let's get drawing. Take the third rectangle and sketch your background image. In my case, I drew two baby river otters in their den. You can also use magazine pictures or printed pictures from the internet if you prefer. Next, you're going to make your frames. I thought about how an otter's den is nestled up along the riverbank, often tucked underneath some tree roots, so I drew dirt and rocks on one frame and tree roots on another. You'll want to give special consideration to your frontmost frame because it will be the most visible. I wanted my front frame to look like the opening of a den in a riverbank, so I drew the muddy side of the riverbank with some grass on top and the river flowing along the bottom. I decided I also wanted the otter parent popping up out of the water, so I drew her separately. You can use your extra rectangle to make embellishments like this and tape or glue them on to the frames. I used some of this paper to make my otter parent and some to make a tree root and grass on my other frames. Now color each frame. Be as creative as you like. You can use markers, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have on hand. I also used a black pen to outline my otters because I wanted them to stand out. Now it's time to assemble. First, attach your background image to the sides of your tunnel box. I did this by taping the first section to the back of my paper rectangle. Then I laid the whole thing flat and used tape to attach my first frame to the front of the first fold. See how I pressed down on the first fold like the page of a book and then attached the frame to that? Repeat this with the second frame and second fold. Finally, attach your front frame to the front flap of each folded side. You have completed your tunnel box and step three of the Junior Animal Habitat Badge, Create an Animal House. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you want to post a picture of your animal house tunnel box, don't forget to tag us on social media with the hashtag GSCOLO. 
please join us for the next two videos in the series to complete your animal habitat badge. Bye!